we can use systems of inequalities to help us solve maximizing and minimizing word problems. Um, so the first thing we want to do is look at how to set up a, a, a feasibility equation, basically. Uh, we burn, an athlete burns 10 calories per minute while running, 8 calories per minute while lifting weights. And we want to write an equation for Z, representing the total number of calories burned, when, we, when the athlete runs for X minutes and lifts weights for Y minutes. This will end up just being 10 calories for each X and 8 calories for each Y. And so that would be what we're going to call the feasibility or maximizing or minimizing equation. For the next couple of problems, we're going to be basically maximizing and minimizing the situation. They have already drawn out a feasibility region, and they want us to substitute each of these points into this equation that's up here at the top right. Now, it turns out that whenever you have a region representing a system of inequalities, whenever you go to maximize or minimize an equation subject to these constraints, the maximum or minimum will always occur at one of these vertices, which is kind of a high-powered theorem that we're not going to prove here. So let's take this feasibility region and create an xy chart here. Now I'm going to start by writing these points that are up here at the top, 0, 27, and 18, 27, before I move this up and make it disappear. We want to include 27, 9, 27, 0, and 0, 0. Those are the points being substituted in. Now, z is going to equal 1.8x plus 2.2y. So we're going to substitute that in, and let's start by multiplying each of these x values by 1.8. That will give us 0, 32.4, 48.5, 48.6, 48 and then 48.6 again, and 0 and then each of the y values by 2.2. This will give us, and let me put plus signs between each of these, this will give us 59.4 for the first two points being substituted in. 9 times the 2.2 gives us 19.8, and when we substitute 0 in, we get 0. Adding across, we have 59.4, 91.8, and 0. Now this problem said, going back up to the top here, we want to maximize the situation. So part A, we are going to find the max when well, that'll be the second row in that chart there, when x is equal to 18 and y is equal to 27. And for part b, they want to know what is the maximum value. I'm going to say the maximum value is 91.8.